Okay, welcome to Space Arena, the Ultimate Python Turtle Graphics Game Tutorial Part 7. In this part, we're going to be creating the borders of our game. So to do this, well actually first let me show you what I have real quick. And in case you're coming back from before. So in the last video, we added health bars and health meters to the objects. Now there was a little bit of an extra gray area, and as you can see, I've gotten rid of that. And the actual code to do that is down here. And what, what I found was that even when the pen is going forward by zero pixels, it still draws a little bit of color there, like a little dot. So to get rid of that, I said if the health equals the max, if it's health doesn't equal the max health, then we need a gray bar. If they are equal, that means you have max health and there would be no gray. So that fixes that little problem. So what we want to do is we want to add some borders to our screen. Now you can see here, or to our game, now you can see here, we've got a screen width and a screen height already. But if you recall from the introduction video, the borders are actually going to be, end up being bigger than what we can see. Okay, so we're going to get that started today, but we won't do the big part just, just yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new class, and I'm going to call this game. Now I could have done this with... I could have made a border class or whatever, but I decided just to put it into a, a game class because it's part of the game. So when I initialize my game, okay, I always got to do self, I got to give it a width and a height. Okay? And again, this width and this height are going to be different to this because the game arena is larger or right now we're actually going to make it smaller. So what we'll do is we'll say self.width equals width, self dot height equals height. So we're just creating the object and using it to contain or to keep track of the width and height of the game area. Now to actually draw it, we're going to go ahead and make a render method. Okay, and I'm going to say def render border okay, and self. Okay, so what we got to do is well we're going to go ahead and use the pen sorry i should have done that so i'm going to say pen dot color and i just made the border white you can make it a different color if you like of course pen dot width is going to be three and you can make it bigger or smaller again pen dot pen up and you'll see what i'm going to do here in a second so what i'm about to do is i'm just going to break it down into pieces but i could have done it all in basically one line but i'm going to make it in pieces just so it's easy to understand what's going on. So left equals self dot width divided by 2.0. Right equals self dot width divided by 2.0. And actually left should be negative, sorry about that. Okay. So for example, if our screen or if our game was the same size as the screen and it was 800 wide, so the left X over here on the left side would be negative 400, and the right side would be positive 400. So I'm going to do top equals uh, self dot height divided by 2.0, and bottom equals yeah, equals negative self dot height divided by 2.0. Okay. So this gives us the left most uh, x coordinate, the rightmost x coordinate, the topmost y coordinate, and the bottommost y coordinate. So now what we're going to do, it's going to be very, very simple. We're going to say pen dot go to left top, pen dot pen down. We're going to put the pen down so we can actually draw. Then we're going to say pen dot go to right top. And again, so I'm just going to go up to the top left corner across the top right corner, down to the bottom right corner, over to the bottom left corner, back up to the top left corner. I'm just going to draw a big square. Now, if you want to get fancy, you can make it an octagon or something like that, but that would make the collisions a little bit difficult to, to calculate. Um, right top, and then I'm going to say pen dot go to right comma bottom, pen dot go to, let's see, left comma bottom, and pen dot go to left top again. Then I'm just going to say pen dot pen up so that the pen is no longer drawing. So that's the class. Again, the class defines how the object works. So later in my game, before I actually 
you know, do this whole thing down here. So here I created the sprites. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say create the border, or I'll say, I'll say create the game object. So I'm gonna say game equals game. And I need to tell it the width. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make it uh, 600 by 300, just so it's on the screen and we can see what's happening. And then in my main loop, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna render that. So I could do it down here, it doesn't really matter what order. So I'm gonna do game.render border. So in the main loop, it's gonna go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and run that and see what happens. We got an error, okay? So render border is missing one required positional argument, pen. Okay, so I forgot to put pass pen as an argument. I'll tell it what pen we're using. And I got another error. <laughs> I spelled height wrong. You guys probably saw that a while ago. Uh, line 42. Uh, where's that at? H E I G T H. G H T. Okay, let's run it again. There we go. So now we've got a border. And of course, everybody goes outside of the border, but that's a different problem. Um, yeah, so basically we've drawn a border. Now that border can be any size, but for now we're gonna keep it really small just to cut for testing purposes. So next thing I wanna do, or the next thing I wanna do, is to have it bounce off of the border. Okay. Now this is gonna go in our sprite class, because this is gonna to apply to every object in the game, basically, every sprite at least. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a method, and I'm gonna call it def border check self. So this is going to check if the sprite has hit the border. So basically all we're going to do is if self.x is greater than game.width divided by, I'll put that down there, 2.0, then we set self.x equal to game.width divided by 2.0 and then we say self.dx times equals negative one. So that will bounce it off of, in this case, the right wall. So let's go ahead and just test that. Well, it's not gonna work if we don't, if we don't call it, <laughs> okay? So we gotta do, so what I'm gonna do is in my update, I'm gonna call self.border check. And I don't need to put self. So the sprite is going to do the border check. Now, for the player, since it has its own, it doesn't have its own update method yet. Okay, well, it will eventually, but okay, so we'll leave it like that. So function f5, and you see how it's getting a little bit long now. So I'm gonna see what happens when I hit the right border. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Now, now one thing, what do you notice that's kind of a little bit weird? So you can see how the player is actually going a little bit over the border. Okay. Now one way, to, the easiest way to fix that, since it's we know the size is about 10, 20 by 20, is in the border check, on the left side, or on the right side, we put minus 10. So that, so what's happening here is the X is the middle but a plus 10 is the right side of it. So let's go ahead and test that. Let's see how the bouncing goes this time. Okay, so you see how it bounces a little bit more naturally. Um, you won't notice it too much once the game's going, but it does help, I think, a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And now we're gonna do the other side. Now watch carefully, it's less than negative game width plus 10 because we're on the left side of it now. The self times dx times negative one still works. And here I'm gonna do L if, because if we're on the right side of the screen, it's not possible to be on the left side of the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it. Okay. So you see I can bounce basically forever. Boom, boom, boom. And now let's go ahead and do the top. And you can either type it from scratch or do what I do, just I have some working code, so I just need to change y, y, y. And this is gonna be game height instead. Okay. 
and that's going to be dy. And same thing here, y, y, oops, and y, and game height. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and test it. F5, and that is working. And you notice how now these guys are also bouncing off of the walls. And this is what we wanted. This is, this is exactly what we were looking for. So that is basically that. So now we have a game arena. Let me just show you something real quick. What's nice about this, now that we have it coded, is now I can make this game arena much larger. I'm gonna keep it 300, but then I'm gonna make this 1000. Okay, so let's watch that and see what happens. So you see now that the game arena, if I make this bigger, you see the game arena is still being drawn, but it's outside the size of our window. But it's still there, it's still working. So I can still bounce off of it. And that's gonna be really what we want to happen because what we want in this game is for the game arena to be bigger than this 800 by 600 area and that everything else is gonna move relative to the player. And that'll be coming up in a future video. So let's just review that real quick. Uh, in this video, we created a game class. Again, it could have been a border class, but I just used game for this one. So I'm going to use it for some other things. We initialize it with a width and height of what we want our arena to be. And it can be smaller than the screen width. It can be larger than the screen width, you know, the, the window width that we've used. In our case, we were, we were going to want it to be bigger, but right now we're keeping it smaller just for testing purposes. Then we need a render method, and basically we're just drawing a square. We go up to the top left corner, put the mouse pen down, down, over, or over, down, over, up, done. We created our game object right here. And then in our rendering, we did game.render border, and we sent the pen as an argument. And we also added a, where's that here, uh, border check method inside of our sprite class because we want all the objects in the game, at least all the sprites, to bounce off of the border for us. And that, my friends, is that. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe for updates.